Here's check on stories we're following for you today on Robin Hood Radio. Well, due to the predicted rainfall on Thursday in Cornwall, due to that prediction for a rainy Thursday, they have in Cornwall decided to postpone the Halloween party. It will now be held Friday, November 1st. Once again, the Cornwall party in Cornwall for Thursday has been postponed till Friday, November 1st. Preparing for Medicaid open enrollment for 2020, what's new? Representatives of the Western Connecticut Area Agency will explain the many changes in Medicare 2020. Attendees will receive an update on changes planned for the coming year. It's being held at Noble Horizons, Cobble Road in Salisbury. Registration is necessary at noblehorizons.org, 860-435-9851. Revolution-based artist Martha Zemilis draws, paints, weaves, writes, and designs needlepoint and has mastered the ancient techniques of icon painting using egg, tempera, and gold leaf. Two Walls Gallery, a student-curated gallery at Housatonic Valley Regional High School, will have her exhibit her work. The opening exhibition is 1 to 4 p.m. The public is invited. Two Walls Gallery will be open Monday through Friday, 9 to 4, located in the Media Center at Housatonic Valley Regional High School in Falls Village. In Dover, New York, there'll be a regular town board meeting, 6.30. A special selectman's meeting being held in North Canaan, Connecticut at 7 p.m. Irondale Schoolhouse on Thursday the 31st presents a haunted Halloween with DJ Jeremy, costume contest goodies and fun for all, a trophy ceremony for the business window competition. That all happens in between 4 and 9 p.m. Falls Village Recreation invites you and your family to a Halloween party October 31st, 5.15 to 7.30 at the center on Main Falls Village. They want to see your costumes parade down Main Street at 5.15. Pizza for everybody, apple cider, Halloween candy treats, special guest magician Sandy Rhodes performs at 6 p.m. For more information, order RSVP 860-824-0707. Halloween at the Hotchkiss Library in Sharon Trick or Treat. It's at 5 o'clock. This year is a very special day at the Hotchkiss Library. Visit them if you dare for tricks, treats, and surprises. Copake's Halloween party is being held on October 31st at the Copake Park Building. Party starts at 5, costume judging at 5.30 sharp, children and adults, sponsored by Clock Tower Pub and Girl and Copake Sunoco. The Sharon Fire Department Ladies Auxiliary Annual Halloween Gathering is happening on Thursday the 31st at 5.30 at the Sharon Firehouse. Sharon preschoolers through third graders are welcome costume judging at 545 svna hospice floating lantern ceremony to honor and remember will be held friday november 1st 4 till 5 30 at the town grove in lakeville connecticut light refreshments will be served everybody is welcome they're asking you to rsvp and check in advance at 860-435-0816 a bunco fundraiser sponsored by the sharon fire department ladies auxiliary on friday the first at the sharon firehouse doors open at 6 30 playing starts at 7 the hoard prizes half goes towards the auxiliary fundraiser half goes towards the winner Reservations are not required. Want more information? 860-364-0486 or 860-364-0292. The Salisbury Rotary Club and King Arthur Flower sponsoring a cupcake challenge on Saturday, November 2nd from 10 till 2 at the Pilgrim House during the annual Calico Fair. It's $10 to enter. Funds raised will provide a roof for the Pilgrim House in North Canaan, which houses fishes and loaves, the food pantry, and closets. Contact Heidi at 860-248-1717 or Fran Chappelle at 860-824-0597 to participate or donate to the cause. The Ed McGuire Memorial Cannonball Run, the 5K, will take place on November 2nd at noon. Walkers at 1130. The traditional firing of the cannon will start the race. An awards ceremony will follow on the green. Prizes will be awarded to the two top female and male runners in nine different divisions. Entry fee is $25. Those 14 and under, $15. The event is co-sponsored by Shelley's Hair Salon and Falls Village Volunteer Fire Department, which is the recipient of the funds raised. More information at 860 40533 or graystoneracing.net. A spaghetti dinner to 
raise funds for the Housatonic Valley Regional High School student trip to the Galapagos Islands in April of 2020 will take place in the school cafeteria November 2nd, 5 till 7 p.m. Tickets to $10 can be purchased from students taking the trip or teachers Latili Garcia trip or Danielle Molino. The event will also feature a variety of raffle prizes. Hotchkiss Library and Sharon will hold its 12th annual auction on Saturday, November 2nd, 5.30 till 7.30 at Lion Rock Farm. Live and silent auctions, other items including a private tour of the New York Public Library and more. Tickets are $150 in advance and at the door. Available online, hotchkisslibrarygala.weebly.com. The First United Presbyterian Church is hosting its annual turkey supper on Saturday. Family-style seating at 6 p.m. Takeout dinners may be picked up between 4.30 and 5.30. For reservations, 518-398-7056. Wine on ice. Uh, You've got uh, meridials and craft beer, small bites, and a silent auction. Benefit the Norfolk Curling Club. The wine tasting is Saturday from 5 till 8 p.m. Tickets are available $30 in advance, $35 at the door. More information is available at the club. And Sharon Audubon has its Kids Day. It'll be held this coming Sunday, the 3rd from 12 till 3 at Sharon Audubon Center. There'll be lots to go on. Kids crafts, games, live animals, a hay bale maze, hay wagon shuttles, professional face painting, a large leaf pit for jumping, balloon twisting, snacks, fresh and delicious apple cider donuts from Great Cape Baking Company. And if kids come in costume, there'll be their famous costume parade around the grounds at 2.30. More information is available at Sharon.audubon.org. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgan's at the Interlake and Interlakeandin.com and by Salisbury Bank, SalisburyBank.com. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was down 19.26 to 27,071.46 yesterday. NASDAQ starts off today at 8276.85 and the S&P 500 at 3036.89. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few moments.